Hello everybody, today is July 18th, 2023. This is my experiment investing $1 per week in each of 41 different dividend stocks, $1 a day in each of 7 different monthly dividend stocks, and $12 a day in 4 different ETFs, and $1 a day in a few different cryptocurrencies. You see this dotted white line, you can see that's the start of the day, and you can see right here it's been going pretty up. We look at the one-way period, we can also see that it's actually shooting up way higher, doing pretty good. We look at the one month period, we can see also I've gotten significant amount of gains, 4.15% from when it first started. We look at the three month period, we can also see it dipped down and now it's coming back up. And we look at year to date, we can also see that it all of a sudden started significantly and still is climbing as of right now. We'll see what happens in, this, in the long run. Now one of the things that did happen is XLM went all the way up to $100 uh, a bonus for a sense uh, short term. So that was doing pretty good. It's coming back down and it's slowly uh, trickling back down in a sense. Not too worried about it. All these dividend stocks are doing, uh, many of them are, are doing very well in the green. So that's coming up. Now if we come all the way down here and we look at uh, the one that I uh, took a gamble on, UAN. It's still a gamble in a sense because it is trickling down. But I'm expecting for at least when they're going to pay out dividends in August because they paid out in uh, February and they paid out in May and now they're going to pay out in August so I'm going to hope to expect that there will be spike up and then get a decent dividend payment whatever it is I don't expect it to be a 10% dividend payment but we'll see what happens when that time comes we can scroll down here and we can look right here how these uh, ETFs are doing you can see right here QQQ $2,000 invested in it and $12 a day now and it is still it's still climbing up. It's still doing good. And the long term goal, you see what right one week, one month, even if you would come over here to five years, you can see that it, it's steadily in a climbing state. So these are the two large long term for QQQ and VEO that I've decided to invest in. Jeppy and JepQ are also I see that they are doing pretty good in that sense, and they pay monthly dividends. So the nice thing about these two right here is they do pay a monthly dividend. And they already did pay out historically. So if I come over here and we look at history, we look at dividends. Inside my dividend section right here, we will be able to see Jep Q and Jep P paid ten dollars twenty four cents on the on on July seventh, and eleven dollars and ninety seven cents on July seventh for Jep Q. Now what I haven't seen yet come in yet is Q Q Q. I don't know when or if that's going to pay out this quarter or maybe I missed it maybe it paid out earlier so may have to wait till next quarter VEO did pay out this small tiny dividend just a quarter five dollars and 29 cents but they're mainly for growth As you can see right here you can see how each one's doing very significantly different QQQ is higher VEO is lower but it's a blend a large blend where this one is a large growth and then same thing like JEPQ and JEPP, you can see one is doing better than the other because one is more focused on tech, which tech is booming because of AI and everything else. And one is more uh, not so focused on techs, but it's focused more on uh, a wide variety. So it's uh, the overall of what it's doing, it's just a group of different stocks that it's going in. So that's just a quick update. You can see over these other ones, these monthly dividend payments such as O, Main. O was the only one still in the red from when I started investing. All these other monthly ones, which pay monthly dividends, main, SLRC, gain, SLG, good, and EFC, all are in the green. So I owe more money than what I've put in. Uh, Reality O is the only one still in the red for me, but I, I expect that it will eventually climb up. Maybe we'll see what happens. That's why I have a large for uh, diversified in many different things. And we'll see how it's going. My monthly goal, or at least my yearly goal in the first aspect, if I come back up over here to history, Come over here and look at dividends. Inside dividends was to get paid at least a dollar. And you can see right here, a lot of them are already at the dollar range. Some of them are not. So they're going to reach it eventually. JP Morgan's not at a dollar range for its, its payments yet. Uh, Campbell uh, CPB is not at a dollar range yet. But they're more of a stable or at least a guaranteed almost. Not guaranteed. There's, there's no such thing as a guaranteed. Who knows what's going to happen in the future? Stocks might all of a sudden plummet and fall and not just stocks but companies so you got to think of each one of these different stocks as a company if the company is not doing well for the future you have no idea what's going to happen to them so we'll see what happens uh, every single one of them have their own business their own need and we'll see what happens but long-term goal is to get paid and get paid in dividends so that when i retire i have 
uh, some sort of income going from it. And you can see it's doing not bad, but that doesn't mean see that this, this doesn't mean this is the end of a possible recession. The Fed has announced that they still have to keep going, that we're not there yet, and they're going to keep going. And and even Jerome Powell said he doesn't expect it to happen in 2024. He doesn't even expect it to start going down to where two percent until 2025. Now I know there's the CPI report and the GP, all those different reports. Everybody's saying different things. Just look at what's happening and be prepared for yourself. Uh, the, one of the big notes that came up too is in five years, a lot of those big commercial buildings, their loans are going to come up. And before they were at a 0.5% interest loan. We're already at 7, 7.5% interest loan. That's a huge increase. And if you take a million dollars and put 7.5% interest rate on it, can you imagine what type of loan that has to do? And a lot of people are not going back to the office. So when commercial buildings start dominoing, a lot of those small banks have their money in those banks. And so if that dominoes a commercial building and the banks can't support it and they have to eat the loss, then the banks don't have money. And then if people come in and decide to start taking the money out of the bank and not just taking out the money, spending the money, right? If they invest, if they put it in cryptocurrencies, they spend it, buy a house, do whatever it is that they're doing and the money's not in the bank and they don't have enough money for somebody that does have to pull money out, that's where a bank runs and the banks collapse. And if another bank collapses and dominoes all those smaller banks because commercial buildings, we can see what happens. Now, I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm not trying to fear monger or anything like that. I'm just telling you this is what possibility is coming. Yes, the economy is looking better for America right now. But more pain has been announced that it's going to come and it still is coming. So we will see what happens in the future. But I've prepared for it. This money right here, I don't need it. I don't plan to need it. I don't plan to need it in 2030. I don't I don't need this money. This money is here for me to invest and to grow with my long-term plan. And I have a long-term goal. I have a long-term plan to be able to make enough money to be able to retire happily and successfully. That is my goal. That is my plan. If you enjoyed this content, if you've been here this long, if you've been following along, please feel free to smash the like button. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Tell me what you want to see next. If you haven't already subscribed, feel free to subscribe to get notified. If you don't want to subscribe and don't get notified, come back once a week. Come back once a month. Check out how this is doing. This is a long-term play, a long-term goal, and we'll see how everything goes. Thank you all again for being here. And you all have a wonderful rest of your day.